It is important to also recognize the attacks by Hamas did not happen in a vacuum. The Palestinian people have been subjected to 56 years of suffocating occupation. United Nations Chief Antonio Guterres speech on Tuesday while addressing the United Security Council meet has irked Israel. In his speech, United Nations Chief asserted that no party to an armed conflict is above international humanitarian law as he expressed deep alarm over the relentless bombardment of the Hamas-ruled Gaza Strip by Israeli forces and appealed to all to pull back from the brink before the violence escalates even further. It is important to also recognize the attacks by Hamas did not happen in a vacuum. The Palestinian people have been subjected to 56 years of suffocating occupation. They have seen their land steadily devoured by settlements and plagued by violence, their economy stifled, their people displaced and their homes demolished. Their hopes for a political solution to their plight have been vanishing. But the grievances of the Palestinian people cannot justify the appalling attacks by Hamas, and those appalling attacks cannot justify the collective punishment of the Palestinian people. Excellencies, even war has rules. We must demand that all parties uphold and respect their obligations under international humanitarian law. Take constant care in the conduct of military operations to spare civilians and respect and protect hospitals and respect the inviolability of UN facilities which today are sheltering more than 600,000 Palestinians. The relentless bombardment of Gaza by Israeli forces, the level of civilian casualties and the wholesale destruction of neighborhoods continue to mount and are deeply alarming. The protection of civilians is paramount in any armed conflict. Protecting civilians can never mean using them as human shields. Protection civilians Protecting civilians does not mean ordering more than one million people to evacuate to the south, where there is no shelter, no food, no water, no medicine and no fuel, and then continuing to bomb the south itself. I am deeply concerned about the clear violations of international humanitarian law that we are witnessing in Gaza. Without fuel, aid cannot be delivered, hospitals will not have power, and drinking water cannot be purified or even pumped. The people of Gaza need continuous aid delivery at a level that corresponds to the enormous needs. And that aid must be delivered without restrictions. Following this, the Israel ambassador to the United Nations posted an X demanding United Nations Secretary General's resignation and said, I quote, the United Nations Secretary General who shows understanding for the campaign of mass murder of children, women and the elderly is not fit to lead the UN. I call him to resign immediately. Israel's Minister for Foreign Affairs, Eli Cohen, also cancelled a meeting with Guterres as per reports.